just wanted to make a video about this bug on the Steam Link. It also is just in big picture, I guess. Right now I'm not using Steam Link, I'm just using uh, big picture. But controller configurations, exporting, importing just does not work. So let's say I want to get a community one, Xbox 360 gamepad. It should probably have, you know, right trigger, left trigger, A, but B, Y, X, all those mapped. Click on it. There's no import button down here. When you're on the Steam Link, it show it says press A to import, but that just makes you click A on this. As you can see, none of the none of the paths have changed at all for a 360 controller. Um, when you want to export it, so let's say I want to change all this joystick move, left click this. I want these to be the D-pad, up, left, down, right, change these to the right controllers, or buttons. Change this to the start button, change this to the joystick camera, click action, right stick. Don't need that button for the haptic feedback. Um, right trigger. Left trigger. Left bumper. Oh, okay, I just messed it up, but now, I mean, that's another bug. I just did all that work and accidentally clicked escape and it's all gone. Basically, if I had changed this, I'm just going to do one because I messed that up. So that's now the joystick. I want to export this. I want to do a personal binding. If I click on this, it's basically going to have a loading sign forever, it seems like. If I do a local, it seems like it saves it fine. That looks good, but then when, like, this is still a scroll wheel. It never changed to the, it never, it changed back, I guess. Um, and when you want to save one, this is basically what happens. And I'm going to end the video right here. I'm just going to upload it for Valve because I'm submitting this bug report. Um, but basically this working animation, loading animation, never stops. So hopefully they can figure this out and fix it because it's been frustrating. Alright, thanks.